Ladies and gentlemen, we present to you a weekly podcast for the more sophisticated beer drinker. So sit back, pour yourself a pint, and enjoy the internet's longest running 100% blind round table taste test beer review show. You're listening to The Beer Snobs. <laughs> Welcome to the show, everybody. How are you guys doing? This is Damon. You're listening to the Beer Snobs. And across the table from me is... Call it all Beer Snobs. It's me, B. <laughs> and right next to me is... Hey, guys. This is Brian with Beer Quest. All right. And uh, before we get going, I want to remind you guys, Avery Brewery Company's Ellie's Brown Ale, our February Beer of the Month. Great, solid brown. Yeah, the highly great, drinkable. Good brown. Really yes, good brown. Very yes. drinkable. Easy to do. And it's available everywhere. Yes. Yeah, and, yeah, it's easy. And uh, yeah, not not very expensive either. I think I have the price here. Yeah, it was a dollar seventy nine a bottle for singles. So you can imagine how much Sixers like are. Eight ninety nine a Sixer. Yeah, it's it's the inexpensive, just a, a all around good beer, and we're proud to put it up on our list of uh, beers of the month. Anyways, let's uh, get going. Uh, this week we're starting off with our segment Growler Reviews with Hardyman. Hey guys. Uh, so this week uh, I stopped by my friends at. Uh, Hamilton Family Brewery. And, Hi, Josh. Uh, that's right. Yeah, Josh and Kristen. <laughs> what, what's up, guys? Shout out to you. Um, so they, they make some awesome beers, and they're local, so it makes it easy for me to swing in like on the way to a show. So this beer is super, super fresh. This is uh, a build on the 2x4 IPA series. So 2x4 so is their double IPA. So this is called? This is called the 4x4. And so this is the Hamilton Brewery 4x4 IPA. And it's a triple IPA. Triple so, IPA. So, yeah, this one comes in, I think, uh, 10% alcohol. So it, it is really, really good. Uh, he was telling me that they throw in a bunch of uh, white wheat malt, crystal malt, and uh, actually it's crystal 40 and crystal 120, and then a ton of two-row, which allows them to make really light-bodied ales. Well, right now, I'm smell, all I'm smelling is IPA. I'm smelling that piney piney. But, but here it is. I, I, I'm with you. I smelt it. Got knocked knocked backwards. Taste it. Okay. okay. It okay. is smooth. I'm, and this is this is super fresh. Fresh, fresh, fresh. This, this is, is the super fresh. Triple right. IPA I ever had. Easily. Oh my that's god. Good. See, smoothest triple IPA you ever had. Dude, that's got oh my a nice god. Velvet beautiful. Mouth feel. Beautiful. Oh, perfect. No, that's it's, perfect. It's the, the, yeah, smooth <laughs> mouth feel and and a flavor that that just caresses you. Yeah, just like just like a gentle gentle massage with a happy ending. Yeah, I feel like you could put some like smooth jazz on right now, and I would just like melt in your arms. Wait, what? No. Oh, what? Huh? What? Oh, yeah. Back to the beer. Okay. So anyway, yeah, they threw in some uh, Chinook and uh, Summit hops, and uh, I believe that that's it for the hops. Amarillo and Cascade. Oh my god, this uh, is just, yeah I, the Summit. This is just this is so. I mean, for an IPA, I mean, this is really smooth. Yeah, this really? is really triple good. IPA. For a, well, yeah, I mean, triple IPA. For an IPA, this well, is smooth. For a know, double it, IPA, this would be smooth. For a triple IPA, this is unbelievably smooth. Well, I'm going to say that this beer has range because it, it's got a really nice velvety mouthfeel texture, but you get a little bit of citrus, you get a little bit of piney, you get a, a lot of the no, herbs. And the, hops, and, the hops are there. Yeah, the strong yeah, totally. hop flavor. Yeah. And it's like, it, it just kind of peaks in for a second, but the blend itself. This, this is a beautiful. Um, I ran into the brewery tonight before the show to get this. They had a food truck down there with a line of people just waiting for food, beer. It's, you know, it's a good place. Here's to hang the out. thing about Hamilton: it's like one of my favorite places to go to drink beer mm-hmm. because first area, off, yeah. Josh remembers who the hell you are, and they will always let you know, "Hey, this is what we got. This really good. Enjoy this." And everybody who comes in there always interested in the beer and always thinking about drinking. You can play a little game or something. It is such a family spot that you don't think about a brewery. A brewery is a family spot. I like that when you get a flight, you also get a glass of water and like and some pretzels. Like pretzels. Yeah, that's included in your flight. Glass of water and pretzels. Yep. Because yep. they're thinking of you. They actually yeah. want you to be able to taste everything individually. Oh, yeah, totally. And, you know, clean your palate between the beers like we do in the show. Exactly. You know? and which, we, which is we, important. We know exactly how important that is when we like, you know, jump around from styles. Yeah. Yeah, that can totally ruin your experience if you don't know what's up. I'm just, I'm still, I'm just in shock. I'm still in shock. I know, B, you look like the look on your face here in shock. Just if how amazingly smooth this freaking it triple blows IPA is. my mind because you know what we're used to at IPAs is just harsh, yeah. rough, bitter, slap you in the face. Speaking of bitter, this thing has a theoretical bitterness of 117. 
So this oh, is this, shit. No, nah, that's what it says right here. So it's cranked out. The, on the IBU bitterness. level uh, is what again? It's 117. 117 IBUs. Dude, I'm yeah. fuck, I don't believe you because this, this, this. No, no, there, there is, there is, uh, like I said, I've said this before. Well, it's a theoretical bitterness, I think. I, I don't think that they lab test it. Well, no, because they're, they're IBU levels, there is a point where you can actually go off the scale it's and one, it starts to almost oh, yeah. taste sweet. Yeah, your palate stops at 140, I think. Yeah. 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 And you can get into the 200s, I believe. And at but that point, all... at that point, it just starts getting, it starts to get a weird kind of sweetness on top of the bitterness, which kind of starts squashing it. But it, it's, it's, I've had it in a few beers before. It's very rare, but yeah, I don't know if that's, if that's what I'm tasting or what I'm just, I just think <laughs> honestly, this is a, this, this beer was brewed solid. This is yeah. good. They did a really good job of brewing this one. I mean, now this is a 10% beer though. This does not drink like a 10%. This is a 10% no. beer. Holy shit. It drinks like a four okay, or five. Keep kicking out the facts. Cause <laughs> So he, we missed that part. Here's the thing I'm gonna do tomorrow Holy morning. Shit. I'm gonna be at fucking Hamilton, going open, open, open. <laughs> Give me this beer. Open, open, open. The Hamilton Super Sale. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody knows what Mervin's is. Not Nobody anymore. Rem- no one cares anymore. Yeah. I really. You guys that's... laugh, so I'm okay with it. <laughs> we remember. We're old. Remember when you had to turn the dial on the phone? Yeah, we're that. We're that old. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> Anyways, uh, any any more info, info about this beer you got for us, Hardyman? Or no, no, that's pretty much the. I mean, he gave me like four paragraphs of information on this beer. Anything but, else mean, you think is is noteworthy uh, to read on the show, just to give people an idea of what we're dealing with here? Because other than you know, smooth and awesome. Well, you <laughs> know what seems to be our opinion. Th- that's our opinion. Uh, <laughs> let me share with what the uh, what the brewer said about what the how they brew. Okay. He said, at Hamilton, we always brew our pale ales and IPAs to be light-bodied and low to no malt presence, which is why this one's like a hot bomb. Okay. So, uh, we believe a thinner body both helps with perceived hot bitterness and complements the carbonation and makes for a drier, more refreshing beverage. So, yeah, I mean, th- this guy knows exactly what he's doing. He's got an awesome system. He's got it dialed in from, I think, I think, B, I think you were there with me day one when they opened. Yes, sir. And from day one, they had a really solid lineup. They, they've been doing great beer consistently ever since they started. It was awesome. Yeah. Well, the, the legend of Hamilton Brewery was that they, you know, they put everything on the line for this. So obviously. Oh, yeah. Yeah. They sold their go, house. Yeah. They sold their house just to do this. So obviously they're going to go 200% because it's all or nothing. This yeah. Is, and these guys have two small kids. So they moved in with the parents and yeah, they put everything on the line. So uh, obviously anyone who's willing to do that is they're the kind of people who are going to make a beer like this. Uh, obviously and this yep. is a beautiful beautiful triple ipa and again the name hamilton breweries four by four triple ipa that's a good one wow and uh i th- i think that's all we can say i think that's i think that's only the, all the constructiveness we can give to this just because it's so amazing there's a point where we just started repeating ourselves so we should probably move on yeah to like uh, josh if you're listening thanks buddy this is thank great. you to josh this is great thank you uh, josh thanks. i'll see you tomorrow <laughs> <laughs> and, and that is it for growl reviews. I think we should get to our blind review of the show. And here it is. And wow, this is dark. That, man. That's a dark beer. This is dark. I love it when the when the head goes from white to brown. That's how you know you oh. get a good dark beer. Yeah, that is that is a sign that is there is some beauty going on. A brown head. Oh, it smells really good. It smells aged. I don't know if it smells aged. It smells a little aged. No, but I I get some like uh, high alcohol some, content at least. I get some sweet uh, flavors off there, a little bit of chocolate. Um, I'm just drowning. I'm drowning in the scent. Yeah, D- uh, a little bit of fruity. You guys get the fruitiness in the in the aroma. A little. I bit. got a little bit of fruity, but just taste it. Just just taste it. This is this is nice. I could I could seriously I could just make like an oxygen mask to pipe the smell in, and I'd be happy all day. <laughs> the, uh, this one drinks really well. It's got a really <sighs> smooth body to it. Uh, not creamy, but uh, oh like man, lo- almost like low carbonation, but it's still you know it, it's good. No, that is, oh my god, it's just we're getting lucky with these smooth beers. This is so smooth. This was as smooth as the four by four. You guys get a little bit of coffee at all? I got you, coffee. a little bit, yeah. yeah, yeah, a little bit. This I, is this is Lando Carissian smooth. Got got a little yeah. bit. This this is cool side of the pillow smooth. Did you guys get a little bit maple? I don't know if it's maple. It, oh, well, let me taste it again. That uh. That floral that, that aroma sweet is what I'm catching. That's yeah, sweet. I'm getting that on the back end. I, I, yeah, 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 just a little bit. Yeah, I can't, I can't pick up that sweet. I think, I think it's maple. 
I don't know. It goes from sweet back into roasted. Yeah. So, I mean, it, this is a, I hate to say this, I hate to use this word, but this is a kind of a complex beer. It's, um, it's, I know, I, I it's mean, all it's, over the place. it's, no, I think, it, again, I, I was saying there's two kinds of, of well blended beers. I've said this before. I'll probably say this a million times more, but the kind where everything kind of blends together into its own flavor, its own collective flavor. And then there's the other kind where each flavor kind of wafts through as you can taste them individually, but they kind of move back and forth as it goes through your palate. This is the second kind. This is the kind where you can have these individual tastes, but they still work well together. This, oh, this is really good. That's exactly why I say it's complex is yeah. of that. Yeah. Yeah. You know, here, here's my opinion of this. I just want to caress the glass. <laughs> I love you, baby. That's all this, I'm, I'm right there sitting here. You guys talking. I'm just, I'm caressing the glass and I'm like, that that's a sign that that's a tell for me. Like I want to sit here and just make sure no, she, make sure she's treated well. Make sure she knows in my head. I'm a hustler, baby. That make, make sure yeah. she and knows. I want you to know. And where you been? been? We're about, about to go. go. <laughs> and that's in my mouth. <laughs> oh my God. No, no, but, but this beer to me is like, I, I, it feels delicate, but you know it isn't. Oh God, it's yeah. like it's like a good girl gone bad. Ah, yeah. it's, 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 a, it's a it's a woman in the street and a freak in the sheets. That's exactly what <laughs> lady, it is. Lady in the streets, freak in the sheets. That's yeah. exactly. Yeah. The, yeah. It, 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 you want to caress it, make sure she knows when you're out there. We're good, and then you want to drink it. It's like, yeah, give me more. All right. Give me, give me okay. all that. Like we really needed to at this point, but let's let's do the recommendations. B, it's okay. <laughs> bitch no no I, I like it a lot <laughs> so you recommend it i recommend this definitely. all right and hardyman oh this this one's a winner dude this is totally good uh yeah beer of the month all the way wow we're already calling dude, beer dude, of the month dude, calling it calling it. you calling don't know it. rest of the month you don't know uh, anyways we'll see. anyways uh yeah and i have to be uh unanimous make this unanimous uh this one is great this is exactly what I look for in a beer the, the complexity the the taste everything's jumping out nothing offensive Whoever did this, well brewed, well done. Yeah, I, yeah. I, who the I'm, hell did this? I let's, know well, hey, let's find out. Let's get the reveal. Zvik Porter. That's what this is. That's where, where's this from? This we, is uh, the is it, European. Is yeah. it the Zvik Brewery? Like yes. Oh, is there I've never beer? heard of this. This is a good beer, though. Yeah, this is uh, this is Polish. Where'd you get this? I got this at Total Wine. Really, oh, really. Yeah, cool. Uh, yeah, this is uh, their. I like the bottle. It's it's kind of like uh, it's the bottle's pretty okay. The bottle's pretty hardcore. They, yeah, it's like <clears throat> firefighter. Apparently, they, this brewery's been around since 1856, <laughs> and this is from the Zwick uh, School of Brewing. That's badass. And this is this is their porter. This is a porter. It's a beautiful beer. This is an amazing porter. They here. did this so well, and and when you get porters, you don't really expect to have all the notes hit. This hit every yeah. one of the notes you want. You want yeah. you got that little bit of dark. You got that beautiful smell. You got that nice sweetness, and then you got that that deep deep taste. Yeah, and there it, was just a perfect <laughs> blend of like a like maybe a chocolate malt and a <laughs> look at Peter yeah, he, the last. He's, he's tapping the bottom that, that, of the glass, that, getting the last drop. That perfect mixture of that like chocolate malt and the, and, and the coffee. Like I mean, nine point five. Nine point five. Really? Yeah. That does not drink like a nine point five. No, not at not. all. So first we had the fucking two the the four by four. That was a ten that felt like a five. Yeah, this yeah. episode we're going home drunk. <laughs> uh cops do this not one, look for the this one felt like it was a five. five. It felt like a five. You know, yeah. that's the thing I like about it. These both these beers we had tonight. Yeah, nine point five. They did not wow. feel as strong as we think they were. All right. This one deserves a read. In 1881, the first barrels of porter were produced in the Archduke's Brewery in Zwick. The recipe was originated by the masters from Zwick's School of Brewing, who worked in the Archduke's breweries in Zwick and Ziesen. The latter has remained the production site for Zwick porter beer. The deep, rich flavor comes from our four carefully selected malts and an adherence to 130 years of brewing tradition. And I have to say, wow, 130 years, completely worth it. Dude, these I'm guys like, know I mean, what the hell they're doing. Yeah, I mean, I've had some. I've had some. All we have an old brewery, and your beer tastes like shit. No, this is not one of them. No, this is no. definitely a contender for beer of the month. This is a fucking and, great and, beer. And uh, oh well, but the bottle. Let's just the bottle is the just so pretty simple. Cool. I love it. It's so it, brilliant. It's bold because it's got this really cool like gold emblem on it, and then it's got like a red and white label, like a banner on top. Yeah, of it's the like the red banner with the white with the white uh, text. You see, yeah, see how it's yeah, embossed classic. in the back. Yeah, the little crown. The little crown in the back. So the bottle has been embossed by the brewery. That's yeah, because cool. it was because they said, like I said, the description was like a royal brew. It was something that, like, I guess, you know, the. Yeah, the royal family would get. Yeah, the Archduke. 
This is Killer. Archduke's brewery. Killer. This is a good beer. I, I love this. This is beer. Archduke of Poland's brewery. Thank you, Franz Ferdinand. Oh, <laughs> had to bring up Franz. Okay, and uh, let's see. Let's uh, let's get the price for this one right here. Okay, <laughs> so this one was a, a twenty liter. Uh, it's like a sixteen ounce. I'm sorry, five hundred milliliter. This is a five hundred milliliter bottle, and this is two seventy nine for five hundred milliliter. Damn metric system. Every day of the week, I'd pay that. Yeah, for that beer, here. every day of the week. Same here. I'm impressed to no end. That was good, and uh, I it, honestly, I thought it was going to be tough after after having that triple IPA to have a beer that was worth it. This just impressed. This impressed. That's a great example because that triple IPA was something that we have never had. Yeah. Something that was supposed to be so rough, but was really gentle. Then we got a nice porter that was really, really gentle. Yeah. And But it, it's supposed to be rough. Something it, that we had that was just well done. Re- no, not well done. Yeah. Expertly made. Yes. Expertly yeah. made. This, this was a of fucking... Brewing. Easily. This is good. This is good. Yeah, I don't know if you guys noticed in the bottle, there's actually uh, embossed is the, a picture of the city that this is from. That's the city? Yeah, the yeah. If you look on the front of it. The right in the bottom. Oh, yeah, right here. All the way in the bottom. Oh, it's wow. Hit. Yeah. It totally missed out the first time. Okay, around. I'm loving this bottle. Yeah, this is a, this, uh, this, I'm is loving one this best, bottle. This is one of the nicest bottles I've ever held. Yeah. <laughs> For 279, we get history, a fucking crown, <laughs> and we get good beer. I'm okay with this. I yeah, feel like royalty. It's good. It's good. All right. For sure. So yeah, that's that's it for the show. Uh, before we go, uh, just remind everybody about uh, Avery Brewing Company's Ellie's Brown Ale. Make sure you go out and try it. Our beer of the month of February. Yeah, it's a bomb beer. I liked it. Yes, it was good. It was good. But that's it for the show. Thanks a lot for listening. And uh, Q W E S T, or you know, I took that from B B. You gotta say it, Brian. Oh, this is Brian from Beer Quest. Q W E S T. <laughs> there you go. Thanks, Boom. dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the quest is only half the fun. Right, oh, and uh, super shout out to uh, Josh and Hamilton. Thanks, buddy. Oh, yeah, you, yeah. Thanks, Josh. Again. You rock. And yes. uh, I'm B, and I'll see you at the bar. This is Damon. I'll be the same.